and hey guys so the thumbnails so when you do a live video it has you do a thumbnail to start and it's so awkward smiling for like a thumbnail I'm like mm. <laughs> it just feels bizarre so anyways I'm gonna give this just a second so I think it notifies so um, I figure I'll give it a second and then we can just start chatting but yeah like I feel like such a goof like smiling for thumbnails and sometimes I regret I did a tag once that said like there was do you smile in the beginning of your videos or the end hey Melanie to do your um, thumbnails and I'm like I don't, I don't do anything I just find a clip somewhere in the middle that doesn't make me look completely like I mean there's some really funny ones I should almost like a compile of an entire video of like places where my computer just freeze the camera <laughs> on me like where I'm editing or I hit you know just I hit the space bar to pause it like to do something or whatever and I come back and oh my gosh my face looks so ridiculous sometimes hey you guys so to like smile for a thumbnail because they make you do that for the live videos just makes you feel ridiculous so hey guys oh thank you so much did I spell your name right close let's see I think you did very close um J E N I, which makes no sense, okay? Because, like, my full name obviously is Jennifer. There's a million of them who were born in the 80s. My parents did two N's and two F's. So, why it was abbreviated to J E N I from J E N N I F F E R makes no sense. So, yeah, J E N I is how I spell my name. None of it makes sense. No, it's okay. It's honestly, I don't correct anybody because it's the most ridiculous thing. I'm like, what were my parents thinking? And then my sister's name has like extra letters. I'm like, guys, go on. Hey, everybody. So today, um, oh, well, thanks. Um, you're doing a fantastic job. Mom. Okay, so I, Abigail, did you see my Instagram post? So I posted on Instagram today. Yes, Julie. Okay. You guys, I have it right here. Hold on, I can grab it. Ignore my awesome looking bed. Yeah, I was trying to hide a little bit of it. Um, one day I'll make my bed, one day. <laughs> it's just not today or any other day in the past. So yesterday, okay, so for Deacon's birthday, Deacon actually got, yeah, I'll show you guys the damage. Deacon got in trouble. Let's see, my boyfriend bought him some golf shorts. I wanna say, just for no specific reason, just bought the boys each a gift and got him these amazing golf shorts. And I'm like, sweet, like these are awesome. Plus there's a dress code when you're golfing, right? So it was perfect. And I was all excited about it and Deacon was just like, meh, like, I don't, I don't, like whatever. And I'm like, you're not appreciative for this gift? Like, this is a problem. You need to be appreciative for every gift, whether you like it or not. So I did not buy him an actual birthday present. Now you could kind of call this, and I told him that at the time. This was like, Four months ago I said you know what if you don't care about this present you're not gonna care about any present I get you for your birthday you're just not getting a present so instead of a party he opted to have his iPad fixed he had a little sleepover too um, but instead of a big party he opted to have his iPad fixed so it cost me a hundred bucks it was exactly a week ago now today and yesterday mind you Deacon doesn't really play on his iPad very much it's kind of like a uh, Kind of just when he has to do some reading homework or wants to watch something in the bathroom or um, if a friend's over and they happen to have an iPad. Otherwise, Deacon's not really an iPad kid. Now, Drake loves his iPad. I have to limit him. He's obsessed. Well, yesterday, Deacon needed to use the bathroom. And he's like, hey, can I, I can't find my iPad. Can I use Drake's? I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. Who cares? Um, you know, we'll put on a little YouTube video, prop it up against the wall. It's really hilarious. Like, I grew up reading shampoo bottles. They got it sewn. They got it made. So anyways, he's watching the iPad and Drake freaks out. Like, or Deacon comes running up the stairs freaking out. Meanwhile, I'm scrubbing their bathroom floor because I'm redoing their bathroom. So I'm scrubbing their bathroom floor and Deacon comes up hysterical because Drake took a bat, because Deacon was in the bathroom, took a bat to Drake's iPad. Here is the damage. Do you see this? This like one little spot. Now I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can read shampoo bottles. So I even bought a glass, there's a glass screen overlay. It didn't even get cracked. It's underneath the glass so it's the actual iPad worst of all is it's not just like a crack it's oh, wait a minute oh it works down here wait that might be progress no so you try to type in the password like the key the pat it's come but like for some reason right here worked so anyways this is all 
busted. So the iPad that I just paid $100, 10 with the screen protector to replace is no longer working so I was pissed like I've never been so mad at one of my kids before mad like angry totally spanked his butt put him in the corner I was you guys I think I blacked out I was so mad so um, he fell asleep in the corner and meanwhile I'm like hysterical and I go to like talk to Drake and I like sat down this is like an hour later I sat down and I was like Drake do you understand how hard I have to work and how long I have to work in order to buy an iPad and then add the cost of the screen on top of it? And I just start bawling. I'm just, I was like an emotional wreck. I didn't even know what to do. I was, it was awful. It was awful. So now Drake's iPad's Deacon's and it sucks. Like it sucks so bad. It sucks for me. It sucks for everybody in the house. I am trying to find the silver lining of it and just think the kid that really likes his um loves his ipad is just now learning the biggest lesson ever like you can't destroy other people's property like this is and this isn't just like a little i mean it's it's not like he just punched him or like you know he broke his lego tower or whatever which you know at the time is always like the end of the world this is like a big deal like what's next our tv like my laptop you know what i mean so it was a really it was a big lesson they've never seen me Kindle. Yeah, he might get a Kindle next. That has very limited <laughs> um, access, but it was just, it was awful. It was awful, and it was over nothing. And the fact that I took his bat and beat his iPad, I'm just, <gasps> you guys, I've never been so mad at one of my kids before. And I'm already like frazzled. Mind you, like, we're at like the end of summer break feel like the kids have been out of school for what seems like eternity so we're all like kind of on each other's nerves so it was just kind of plus I'm like so behind on work and just one thing after another so yeah oh so he's asking what happened Drake took a bat to Deacon's iPad hmm it's fabulous I'm just like I mean so it's just it was a big lesson and then later I was like Deacon I hope you learned a lesson in this too he's like I didn't do anything and I'm like no but I hope that you understand like you know I, I hope that this is a lesson that's learned so super sucky and then of course like I, I can't sleep because I have all this guilt about punishing him and how bad I feel about punishing him but at the same time like I have to punish him otherwise he can't just continue to do the shit like it doesn't work like that like I had to make my point very clear and I think I did and it was just it's just sucky like I hated leaving them in the corner I mean luckily I'm still cleaning their bathroom so like I really clean their bathroom guys like I was like scrubbing it <laughs> I was so mad so um yeah it was it was just a big and then you know you know my boyfriend got home and uh I made Drake work with me yesterday and all evening while they went golfing which is a bummer because I wanted to go golfing with them. It sucked. And then we actually met them though for dinner afterwards because I was working so much yesterday that I didn't have time to. Um, the bathroom is so clean. So I didn't have time to like, I didn't make dinner. So we met them and we ate dinner and um, my boyfriend gave him a really good talk. He's really good at saying very, and I think it's just like what he does like for a living where he can just be very like very matter of fact and say here this is what it is and this is destruction of property and this could lead to this and you know I mean like last week they got so this is this is even more ridiculous they got in trouble this weekend um oh my gosh why can't oh guilty by association they got that lesson this week because they were at the kids table when we were up at this lodge this last weekend for Memorial Day and they a bunch of these kids were making a massive mess with butter packets I mean of all things like they got in trouble about butter but um like I guess Deacon like licked a couple of little pads of butter and like De Drake ate two but they weren't the ones who made the mess but then they kind of participated so they got in trouble um for for that just because like they thought it was our kids you know that made this mess and it was like no it, you know I come to find out it wasn't but guilty by association so they've gotten the guilty by association and the destruction of property talks and consequences <laughs> all in like a four-day span I'm done I'm like just I am so done I need a break like I need something I'm just toast they are killing me let me read some of these comments really quick so yeah that was that was my yesterday today luckily is a whole lot better and I'm not one I don't hold grudges I wake up completely good no matter what, like I was upset about being so upset, but I, I like don't 
I'm not angry and sometimes I wish I could hold a grudge like just for more than a few hours but once I'm asleep and once I wake up in the morning then I'm good so like we're good but now he just has to live with it because I am not gonna go buy a new iPad this is not gonna happen yeah and he may get a Kindle and he may just have a Kindle for a while but we're talking like maybe Christmas that he'll get it so um, that's yeah oh yeah I'm not buying anymore I'm just I'm just not so he can buy one himself and that's but right like how many do I have to buy I'm, I'm not like made of money here like I'm not willing to just like buy them things that they break like I have I'm a big stickler about like respecting your things and taking care of your things and yeah and I said nope it is it is what it is I mean and it's it just it sucks but um he my boyfriend is like the most amazing person ever I he's so good for the kids my gosh make him do a worksheet of chores and earn a hundred dollars and pay the replacement yeah you know what that might actually be a really good plan I mean they're they're doing an obstacle course with some other kids right now because I'm like sorry like you can't handle technology obviously and if you're that mad like we got problems so we're kind of working it out um it totally Becky it is it's harder on the parent like I am I was beating myself up about it and I still feel guilt like I feel personal guilt I have no more I'm disappointed in his actions I'm not mad at him anymore and I was really mad yesterday but I'm not mad at him anymore it's just now I'm like upset with myself where it's like could I have handled that better could I have like I don't know I don't know that I could have I don't I don't know so it's all those like you know after any argument you're always like um you know you're always thinking like oh, I should have said that I should have done that but Anyways, yeah, today's a much better day. Um, it was just super duper. <laughs> it was, I did lose it. Um, it was just really bad. So there's that. We do have um, somebody, we have a guest this weekend. So luckily, like, that'll be a good distraction. So we'll have a fun weekend. Um, again, though, like, like, come on, gotta get caught up on work. I've gotta do it. <sighs> when the kids go back to school, I'm gonna have work days again. They are easily breakable. Um, well, heck, I just dealt with my boyfriend's watch that I broke when we were in New York. <laughs> I'm so sick of fixing screens, like, in technology. I'm like, I'm just done with all of it. Like, I want it all of our life. Um, thank you. The glasses, you guys, the blue reflector still drives me crazy. So I try not to wear them in videos, but, um, I'm tired. So, thanks, Ashley. I'm tired, and, um, I've been, like, working a lot today, so I've had my face in my laptop, so I'm trying to, like, just keep them on as my optometrist or ophthalmologist I don't know what she is says um, it confuses your brain if you take them off too much yeah it's stuff it's true it's just it's just stuff but it's not stuff that I'm willing to just replace at the drop of a hat like I'm just I'm just not somebody said on Instagram I was just reading the comments a little bit ago and somebody said um, it's a lesson he'll remember when he's 50 and I that like stuck with me I read that and I was like okay yeah you're right like it will it's gonna be a long lesson and it's gonna be something that hopefully sticks with both my kids and hopefully something that I can learn from it too it, and it's not just so much the iPad it's just the fact that he did that I mean just I don't know um, <laughs> oh no the flu oh that's such a bummer I'm so sorry to hear that um, have I oh thank you laughable Larry and have I ever done a video on how my parenting compares to my childhood no but that's such a great video idea um, that's a really good one because it's a little different and it's funny because like I, I won't go on right now but I will um, find a lot of my parents coming out in me and there's some things where I'm like really have to fight it like yesterday I was totally spanked as a kid. So like yesterday that like came out like and I like there's just some things where like I I just I have to fight it. But then there's things that, that I say like Drake the other day he's like I'm so thirsty. We were out on a hike. It was not hot. We had drinks in the car. It wasn't a big deal. But he's like I'm so thirsty. I'm like just think about lemons. That's what my dad would tell us all the time. <laughs> so um uh, let me see here. Let me catch up on comments really quick. Two kids as well. I love your videos. Can you do some more recipes? Yes! I'm looking so forward to doing more. Um, I will do probably, I'll probably post one this weekend. Definitely next week for sure. Um, but when the kids get back in school, I am looking forward to having sports are ending. It's like all the big, the chaos right now. You guys, it's something every night but Sunday. 
Um, so once that ends, I'll be able to kind of get back into the routine of recipes and meal plans and I really want to get back on a budget. I really want to do that just because I want to save. Um, I always want to save though, so I mean, what's new? But sometimes like Costco the last few weeks it has not been budget friendly hauls. Um, my glasses were very loose. I had, a hard, I had to keep more than one eye on. <laughs> Your jokes are so much fun. We loved that um, breakfast one that we did. Somebody said, is the going to have consequences at my ex's house too? Um, I don't know when he's going to go over there again, but if he does, probably. Usually, like, back in, we, yeah. I can't really talk. Uh, so, anyways. Um, yeah. Maybe. Uh, yeah, normal. <laughs> uh, cause, because now, like, it's golf, and he's not on the golf team. But he, we play a lot just like as a family. So now it's like a lot of that. And it's in the evenings, of course, because, you know, my boyfriend will be work during the day. And then in the evenings we'll golf and just, wow, it's crazy. And having the kids in school this summer, I don't even know what it's going to be like. I have no idea. But I can tell you right now, it's probably going to be a lot of like grilling recipes or um, air fryer. Um, no, he doesn't know. Your glasses are a welcome break. Yeah, yeah, they are. Um, you know what's really though, is I was, do you say it like diagnosed? I don't know, I was told, she told me. I have really dry eyes. So I've been doing eye drops, a certain one like three to four times a day, and then at night I do like the special one. It totally blurs my vision, but I love it. It feels so good. So um, those have been helping. You guys, I can see so much better just from the eye drops alone. It's crazy. I, I Who, like who, it has that problem. I guess my dad has it, but it's so bad in my eyes that the light scatters so I can't see. So, I mean, the way she, I mean, that, she gave me like the five minute version, but um, yeah, it's, it's really, it's a real thing. You really can't see <laughs> from it. I'm telling you guys, I'd be like, like looking at the TV. I'd have my glasses on and I'm like squinting, trying to watch things or see things or whatever. And I just thought it was like my vision changed, but no, it's my dry eye. Yeah. That's, First world problem. That's what we were joking about. <laughs> that was, we were late about it. We were joking. I was like, babe, dry eyes, seriously? And he's like, that is such a first world problem. Yeah. My first world dry eye problem. It is. It's ridiculous. But I can tell you that it's helped. <laughs> but it's embarrassing. Like, it's just such a dumb problem. Like, I have dry eyes. I can't see because I have dry eye. Who has that? So, um... Anyhow, what else I was going to say, and the reason that I'm doing this video right now, oh, Audrey, you do too? Yeah, it does suck. It's like the weirdest thing to have suck. Um, my drill is charging because I am putting the hardware on the cabinets for the boys' bathroom. So I got sick of the looking at the oak like in their, in their bathroom. So I sanded them down, and because I don't have enough things to do right now, I sanded them down, painted them, they are dry. I got about three quarters of the way through installing the hardware and my drill dies. So it's charging right now. And then I'm gonna finish that and I will beat our guests this weekend. So I'm like really excited about that. Um, we will have those cabinets done. It was my alternative to trying to get the toothpaste off the front of the cabinets. I'm like, well shit, I'm just gonna be sitting here scrubbing the cabinets. I may as well like sand them, scrub them, paint them, and then <laughs> you know, be done with them. Um, I really am getting the itch though to paint the rest of the house. So maybe this summer when I have like, you know, time, I don't know if, if that's going to happen. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Um, like what's, what's time? Let's see here. Oh, Hey, from Australia. I was watched my great barrier reef video this morning for no reason. It was just somebody had did, liked it or something on Facebook and it popped up and I was like, Oh, like take me back. I want to go diving. I want to do anything relaxing right now. Um, anything to do with the climate because my skin has been oh my skin's so dry I cannot win but I don't know I know she said that um allergies like or like pollen and stuff can affect it so I would think that your climate in general would affect it when I fitted a toilet in my new bathroom I had to make sure it was flush against the wall <laughs> that's a good one um so fourth of July plans uh we don't. I was really hoping to get out to see my, um, to take all the kids and head out to my boyfriend's family, but it's like really hard with the kids being in school. 
So we don't have any like actual plans. We have like things we want to do, but I don't know what we're actually going to be able to do. I don't remember. And I don't know if I have the kids this, I don't know. I have no idea. I, I, I have the kids, but I don't know how many days off they have. So it's just, it's becoming a problem. Um, something also, this back wall, I'm wanting it lighter. It has, I don't even know why that happens. The reason I painted it so dark is because I had to cover up that ugly red wall, but now I want this one like even lighter. And I'm also contemplating painting the whole house like this gray color. Um, I don't know. I'm, I've, I've got that itch to paint. Are you still working out and what is your favorite workout lately? Uh, I have not worked out in the last three weeks, four weeks with the kids. I just, it's, I can't take them. So I just haven't been. Um, I can tell you that I have been moving a whole lot more <laughs> than when I do, when I do work out. So um, I am definitely like exceeding, at least according to my watch, all of my workout stuff. I basically haven't sat. Um, this is the longest I've sat in probably a few days. So, um, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not working out right now. I will start next week again. I'll get right back into my routine when they're back in school. And that is my favorites, Pilates. I'm loving the machine Pilates, like loving it. So I'll get right back into the Pilates right now. Um, that's just, I, I, you know, I think it's the people right now. I think if that changes, hopefully it hasn't, then that will, it won't, quite be the same but I definitely it's the people I just love them and the instructors like I have my favorites and it's just nice um let's see here how are you liking your round schedule I love it and right now I'm kind of like okay you can go back to school um it's just been really like the last I feel like they've been you guys the kids got out of school when we went to New York that feels like six months ago like you guys oh it's just been a really trying month, really trying. So they go basically like three months on, one month off. And I like it because I, you know, I do at the end of three months, like I'm ready to have them home. I'm ready to do some fun things, not be tied to a schedule. But the, at the end of the month, this one, I think I swear to you is like six weeks. I'm ready for them to go back. So if we had like our traditional summers here, I think are like eight weeks. They're not long. If we had another two weeks, I would be probably pulling my hair out or searching for a summer camp. I don't even know. <laughs> They're just, ah, it was, I think it's just yesterday and just having so much to do and then just not, not the time to do it. So when they go back, it'll be good for that. It's just working. I work full, like more than a full-time job and you know, it's, it's just hard when you're doing it like at midnight it's exhausting so um, but yeah like I uh, yeah definitely good for my back I just like the it's it challenges me in kind of a different way and I like that um, and I like the stretch that you get with it I find it relaxing so I'm gonna finish the boys bathroom and I'm I have some paint left over so I'm like oh I could do it this color but they have like a really light blue in there which is funny because that's like kind of the color I want to paint here but I'm thinking I'm either going to just do it white again or I am going to paint it the same gray color and I'm basically just going to do the whole house in like this gray color. I don't remember what it's called. It's called, it's not, I, mean, I think it's mindful gray. Would you ever considering like your workload? It sounds like a crazy amount. Yeah, um, I would, huh, I, maybe. Maybe one day. I keep I keep telling my boyfriend, I was like, I'm just gonna go get a real job again. I'm gonna go work for somebody else and I'm gonna work those hours and I'm gonna come home. And I'm not, oh, homeschool, no. I, we, would, we would kill each other. I don't know, how, honestly, I don't know how parents do it. I would go bananas. And, but maybe it's, I mean, if, 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 I can't imagine how you could work and homeschool at the same time. But I mean, I don't even, you guys, I had to hire a tutor to do homework with Deacon because I couldn't even do that. So anybody who homeschools, like, I will kiss your feet because holy cow, I don't even know how you can do that. <laughs> I can't even do homework with my kids. So um, I'm not that mom, like so far from that mom. It's, it would never happen. It would, we would last through breakfast before one of us is crying. Probably both of us would be crying. Um, no. But yeah. I joke and he's like, you would hate, you would hate a real job. 
I'm like, yeah, I probably would hate a real job. I mean, I did. I worked for Gannett for 10, 11 years. So, like, I know <laughs> what it's like. I just, I don't know. Having somebody else think about it, everything major would be nice. Taxes would be easier. Oh, so much easier. I don't know. Maybe one day. Um, homeschool moms. I'm like, oh, we have nothing in common. I mean, yeah, I told you guys what I did to my kid yesterday. Um, situation gets resolved soon. I hope so, Ashley. I do. Um, it's just, it's completely out of my court. Um, how much do you spend on food a month for your family? I was trying to come up with a budget for myself. My old budget was 500 and I don't know if that's practical or not. So I keep talking about how I want to get back on a budget. I don't know what a practical budget is would be or what that would even look like so i need to really like look at our spending habits and just try to like our grocery habits i don't buy the thing is is i don't buy food that doesn't that doesn't get eaten so we don't like throw away a bunch of food um yeah i could probably like instead of buying you know a can of refried beans make my own again but then there's the whole time the factoring in time as well so i don't know what our current budget is i would say that we probably spend I would say right now I probably spend like six or seven hundred bucks a month on groceries, maybe, and that includes that includes like eating out too. Maybe I'll do a vlog where I figure out my budget. <laughs> we could just do it all together and go from there. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is, but five hundred's always like been my goal. And if I like think about like if I'm like okay, like my bills are this and this and this and this, like food is like five hundred. Yeah, I always think just five hundred, but I don't know. Um, yeah, my last Costco haul, whew, that bad boy, that was a spendy one. I don't even know how it got so bad. It'll be better too when the kids are back in school and not grocery shopping with me because there was a couple of things that I bought that I definitely would not have bought had the kids not been with me. Like those cashew crust clusters, it's 12 bucks, you know? Um, that's That kind of stuff really adds up quick. Yeah, I will do, Oh, thanks Britt, yeah, I'll do that. That's how I feel to people ask me if I'm in a homeschool and I'm like, I work and hell no. <laughs> I'd kill my kid. Yeah, we would kill each other. Um, oh, the Spindrift, you guys, from Co that I got at Costco. I've seen them at Target now too. So good. Oh my gosh, they're so good. It's like it's like LaCroix. So, you know, like a flavored sparkling water. Um, unsweetened. I don't like the sweetened ones. But it is, instead of like carbonated water and natural flavors, it's carbonated water and like squeezed fruit. So... Um, it's, they're really, they're a lot like stronger, like more potent. There are calories in them. I don't know how many, but, uh, not from sugar, just from the fruit. They're so good. Oh my gosh. They're so good. You guys. So, uh, yeah, loving those. I would highly recommend them. I'm going to tell you right now though, don't start with grapefruit because that one will straight knock your socks off. I did the first one. And I was like, holy cow, but now I crave it. When did I start? They're more expensive. So I'm going to have to like stop that, um, or like cool it maybe one every other day. A fun weekend plans. Well, we have baseball. We've got soccer practice tonight. We've got baseball tomorrow night. And we have soccer all day Saturday. So that's the start of it. I don't know yet Sunday because I, I, I don't know yet what we're going to do. So um, maybe something. 1200 a month. Oh, my goodness. 1200 Yeah. Okay, so that that does, but a family of seven, I mean, that makes sense. Like when I when we have all the kids, our budget is definitely like the amount that we spend is a whole lot more, like a lot more. But we have seven kids and then two adults, and we have two teenage boys that are ones they're massive. One's like six three, and the other ones he's got to be like six one now. I mean, they're like really big people. They eat way more than my boyfriend and I combined, and of course they're like cut. He jerks. <laughs> But they'll eat everything. So, yeah, I'll do another food budget video. Um, yeah, let's see here. I tried the nastiest drink like that at Target. I can't remember the name of it. It was terrible. Oh, yeah, if it's seltzer water and it has, like, the mineral, added minerals in it. Whoa. I haven't tried bubbly yet. Um, there's nothing wrong with grapefruit. I love the grapefruit one. It's actually my favorite. It's just really, the first time you drink it, it's like drinking a sparkly grapefruit it's just it's the taste is like perfect it's amazing it's just like the first time I had one I was like whoa like it's grapefruit but it, it's delicious it's like I said it's one of my favorites an instant pot ah uh, 
an instant jerk. She might need one day, one day. Ah, uh, I know. I might get an instant pot one day. I hear so much about them. In fact, one of my friends was gonna bring hers over so we could like she could show me. <laughs> she could. She was gonna make me something in the instant pot, and I don't even remember what happened. We didn't, but um, I would maybe maybe he'll get one. I don't know. It's like another appliance. We just got the air fryer, so it was like fried food. I don't know, but I'm loving the um, the fried food. So we do have the air fryer. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll do it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, everybody's trying to talk me an Instapot. I guess I'll have to just go there. Um, yeah, like, yeah, the, the um, eggs. She does a lot of chicken in hers. I'll probably get one. I'm just wait, gonna wait until they go on like a really good sale. Um, my boyfriend did grow, grow up religious. He grew up Mormon, so and was for a while. He's not anymore. We're not. Scotland. We're gonna be there. Right where you're at. You're visiting here when you come to Scotland. It is in. Oh, guys, I can't even think. I don't know when I'm going. I think he's going the end of July. I'll be there in August. He's gonna go for a week and a half longer than me. Like, I just can't swing it. Um, I have to, like, figure out, like, every little, the kids are gonna be, like, with my parents for two nights, and my friend Becca for two nights, my other friend for two nights, and then, like, um, maybe with grandma for a night or two, and then, like, back to my parents. So it's like, I just didn't have that much time. And, yeah, um, and, is that Edinburgh? We, I think we're going there. I'm not sure. It's such a friendly city. Guys, I have to look at the thing because I'm going to only be there for parts of it. Um, and then they basically like, there's like a cricket game every other day because it's a cricket tour again. <laughs> so we go to like different cricket games. So like every two days or every three days we go to a different city and then they have their game one day. And then like usually we have like a little bit of time to play around and then we go to another place. So it's, it's really cool. Like it's super duper fun to travel with the team. But I am, I'm not sure exactly where. Um, hopefully he can. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to happen or not. So, um, oh, sunny San Diego. Take me there. It's been two days ago. I was cooking. Like, I was just melting. I was so, like, sweaty. I was hot. And I was in, like, shorts and a tank top. And today, I'm in, like, pants. I got socks on, a sweatshirt. It's cold. Like, how did that happen? And then Sunday, it's supposed to be, like, 90 degrees. So. You know, it's whenever the seasons change, right? Like the weather just gets drunk and does crazy things. It's crazy right now, but I love it. I love the, I'm, I, I don't love super hot summer. Every, I know everybody loves summer. I'm not a summer fan. I'm like a early spring and I'm a fall fan. So I like the transitional seasons, but this like gives me hope that like summer is always away. <laughs> I don't like this, the super duper hot heat, um, like at all. Let's see here. Let's see. I missed a couple I thought. Um, oh, how's Cal Caliber's doing really good. The kids just took them for a walk around the block, and now they're, again, they're playing with all the kids doing the obstacle course, so they're having fun. But yeah, Caliber is, he's doing great. He is, like, the best dog ever. We took him up with us this weekend um, to the lodge where we stayed at, and it's, like, in the forest, and we, um, it, we, we took him on a bunch of hikes. You guys, I have to post this picture. Oh, was, uh, my phone's being used. Um, I'll post it on Instagram and be like, whose poop is this? So we were hiking. It was just me, Drake, and Caliber. And we're hiking. And I stop and I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, it was like a pile of poo, like this big, like circle wise. And it kind of was like shape of a dogish, but no, definitely not a dog. Um, consistency of maybe like a horse, but definitely not a horse. Like, pretty sure is a bear. So we <laughs> we're walking and it's like fresh, like flies, everything, like super fresh. And I'm like, okay, well that's an interesting pile of poo. We keep walking and then there's like, what well, looks like kind of like a downed power line. When my aunt was younger, maybe like 13, 14, 15, 16, she was horseback with. Um, there was, my aunt was in the front, there was like a guy, one of their friends, and then my um, other aunt was behind. And my aunt went to pick up like a down power line, she got electrocuted. And the electricity went through her, through the guy, and then to my other aunt. So my aunt in the back has scars, but my aunt who touched the power line, she lost her arm. I mean, awful, awful accident. So um, 
very spooky. I was like, that's it. We're leaving. Like it wasn't, I think the bear poo that scared me, but the electric, the electrical line where I was like, and we're out. So, um, we were like a half a mile into our hike and I'm like, let's go back. I'm, like, I'm done. <laughs> it was just, it got really like eerie and really spooky. And I was just like, okay, that's it. I am all done with this hike. So, um, yeah, we went back and I like, I showed a few people and they're like, oh yeah, that's the bear. I'm like, that's great. <laughs> like, he was probably watching us like a bunch of idiots. Hopefully Caliber like scared him away. I don't even know how bears react to dogs. Like we don't, we don't like hike where there's bears. I mean, we had rattlesnakes on our hikes and coyotes and I'm used to both of those. So those don't bother me, but the bear, I was just kind of, and that didn't even really spook me as much as the power line. I'm like, Oh, um, we were about, there's bears a half hour from us. So not too bad. We've got mountain lions that are a lot closer though. So, um, but yeah, 10 years ago, would you ever thought you'd be following your boyfriend around the world watching cricket? Nope. God, I don't know that 10 years ago I knew what cricket was. Oh, I think the kids are back. I can hear them. This week, 80, definitely bring an umbrella. Oh, an umbrella. What's the funniest thing has happened to everybody here this week? Oh, that's a fun question. What's the funniest thing that's happened to me this week? I guess I can't even remember what happened to me today. Um, that's a really, I have to like think about that. How sad is that? Um, oof. I don't even know. It's, it's just, that's a bummer. I'll think about that though. Um, ugh. not even summer. Living overseas. My husband wants to go back to Tennessee. Where all did you live when you were in the military? We lived in Tennessee. We lived in Memphis. We lived in on Woodby Island in Washington. We lived in Lamore, California. Um, those are the ones I remember. Let's see here. Um, so, yeah, kind of a spooky story. A little, little weird, little crazy. Not, not the best situation, but okay, the kids are home. I can hear their bat and everything like that. So I think I'm going to go. My drill should be charged now. So I will go <laughs> finish my thing. Maybe I'll put a picture on Instagram. Um, I, can't, I can't believe it died. Right when I was ready, I was like ready to go. You know what I mean? Yeah, thank you guys so much. I'm going to really think about the funniest thing that happened this week. Probably in hindsight, it'll be the stupid iPad. Damn thing. I don't even like them. Like, I don't even like technology for my kids. But, yeah, I don't I don't get how, like, it would work right here. But then nowhere else, right? Like, that's, that's so annoying. Okay, I'll do the budget vlog. I'm going to do an updated, updated face care video. I haven't even really washed my face today, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'll do that, and I'll post it this weekend. What was the other one? Oh, how I was raised versus how I'm raising the kids. Right? Is that it? Is there anything else? Those two. If I think of anything else, I will. Um, I ordered some stuff from ThreadUp. So, oh, a video with my boyfriend. I know. He needs to get more involved. Sometimes he's like really into it. And sometimes he's like, mm -hmm, I don't want to be in the camera. Um, like the day I did the live, I think it was just because he had just woken up and he was in his pajamas, but still. So, all right, that's it. I will talk to you guys. Oh, in the budget video. Yes, we'll do the budget video too. Okay, those three. I should write them down. <laughs> uh, what flower goes self-raising flower? <laughs> oh, I love your jokes. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Oh, Siri. <laughs> Bye.